Jennifer again from Gentle Beach Craft and now uh, we will be creating the cover for our coin and candy jar so um, for this I think this is the fifth video for this project so we will be creating a ring that composes of four beads as our first round so this um, this tutorial is a eight round uh, tutorial so I may uh, create uh, several videos just for this one so I already created my ring and uh, thread through the right uh, nylon on the fourth uh, bead so now we will create the second row by inserting three beads on our right string like so and then threading through the right nylon or right string okay. and then we will insert our right string on the next bead on the ring and insert two beads on our left nylon and thread through our right nylon the other nylon okay and again insert our right string on the next bead on the ring insert two beads on our left string thread it through and then insert our right nylon on this last bead on the ring and on the other bead upward Now we only need to insert one bead on our left string and thread our right nylon through it. Okay, so that is our second row. So, for our third row, we will be inserting four beads on our left string. Four. And thread through the right string on the fourth bead like so then again insert our right nylon on the next bead from the second row <coughs> And then insert three beads on our left nylon.
thread through the right nylon. So now we're we have two rounds. One, two. So we need to make two more rounds for this row. So insert the right nylon on the next bead from the previous row. Insert three beads in our left string. Cross through or thread through the right nylon. And for the last part, insert our right nylon on the last bead from the previous row and then insert it on that bead upward. We just need to insert two beads on our left string to finish this row. And thread through the right string. So that's the end of the third round, third row. Now, we will create the fourth row by inserting four beads on our left string. Thread through the right string on the fourth bead. And then insert our right nylon on the next bead from the previous round, previous row. And then from this end onward, we will insert three beads on our left string. Insert the other string on the third bead and insert our right nylon on the next bead from the previous row
so that's the last round and then for the final one we insert our right string on the last bead from that previous row and inserting it as well on the beads in upward motion <coughs> And then we will be inserting two beads on our left string and crossing the right string on that second bead. And then for the fifth row, we will be inserting our right string on the next bead beside it okay to create this part so we will insert five beads on our left string thread through the right string okay. so this is what we have so far so again we will insert our right string on the two beads from the previous row And for this part, we will be inserting four beads in our left string. Thread through the right string like so. So we now have two rounds and then insert our right string on the two beads from the previous row okay. insert four beads in our left string thread through the right string insert the right string on the next two beads from the previous row
so now we're almost done with this row and I will be creating another video for the next rows so we'll finish this one for the 